Hi everyone, Sam here from RetroTech, here to show you how you can turn your duct tester into a flow hood. Uh, this way, you can use your duct tester to do total system airflow in a house. So uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate here on this return, here upstairs in my bonus room, how this can work out. There's several reasons why we want to look at total system airflow. Uh, looking at the total system airflow helps us determine if the system is moving the right amount of air as designed. Uh, plus, if we look at the total return flow compared to the total supply flow, the difference in that can be the total live duct leakage that we have in our system. So assuming you already have a duct tester, the only extra piece you'll need is this flow hood attachment from RetroTech. And this will work with both the RetroTech fan and it'll also work with the TEC duct blaster. So if you have that, uh, this will attach right onto that too. So ideally what you do, it's pretty simple. Uh, the flex that you would usually tie into your flange to go to your return, you'll just attach it to this hood and then still using our color coding system, uh, instead of putting a blue tube up in the duct system, you just attach it here to the hood itself and then now you have a powered flow hood. Using a powered flow hood is really the best way to measure airflow uh, if you can. Um, instead of uh, being a passive flow hood where it's going to rely on sensors, um, the powered flow hood creates its own flow, uses its own calibrated fan and manometer to pressure match uh, whatever's happening in the return or supply. They can work in both ways and uh, give you a more accurate reading that way. So with our duct tester, what we're doing is ideally making a larger version of this uh, ASIN flow finder, which is a great tool to use for low flows. It maxes out around 500 CFM, so doing uh, whole house ventilation, supplies, bath fans, it's perfect for that. Uh, but when we get into larger flows where we have uh, whole house returns, uh, then we need some more flows. So that's why our duct tester is great, because then uh, we can measure up to a little over 800 CFM with that. And on this hood itself, notice that it comes with a couple of handles. You can actually put uh, two extension poles on here if you need to, to hold it up to flush to a ceiling. But uh, for this example today, we're just going to use this wall return. So as you can see, we have our duct tester flex uh, attached to the flow hood here. And then we put the blue tube to the blue port on the hood. And as for the fan and the manometer, we have everything else set up the same way we would to do a duct test. So with our manometer, we have our yellow to our yellow, green to our green, blue to our blue, just like we would any other time, uh, hooked up to the fan. And one thing that I'm gonna do, since we're gonna be testing a return with a higher flow, is I'm gonna go ahead and just open the fan all the way up. And so that way I can take that range plate off. And so we're going to hook up the flex here, just like we have uh, hooked up to the outlet side of the fan, since we're gonna measure a return. So now that we have our fan and our gauge set up, we can go ahead and put the hood over the return, get a good fit there. On this one, uh, the suction from the return actually helps hold the hood on there. And for me to pressure, uh, pressure match this system, it's actually easier to use the manual dial on the fan. So I'm actually going to unplug the data cable. And we can see that there's about a negative 54 Pascal pressure differential on channel A. In order to pressure match, we want to get that to zero. And once we get channel A to zero, channel B will tell us our flow of the return. So I will go ahead and turn up the fan. This allows me to get to that zero pressure a whole lot faster by manually turning it on. And then I can zero in. Right at zero Pascal, so I'm getting a flow of about 380, 390 CFM on this return. So about 390 CFM is what this return is pulling. Uh, and that's how I use my duct tester as a powered flow hood. So a little extra background on total system airflow and why we care about that. I'll give an example on this particular house. 
So this is about a 2,300 square foot home uh, served by a three and a half ton heat pump. And I had my good friend Steve Rarden come out and go through the system, uh, hooked up this field piece, uh, Bluetooth probes, used Measure Quick. We went all through and uh, to see why this system really wasn't managing humidity the way it should. Even though there is some air leakage here uh, in this house that doesn't help, um, we could tell that there were some other things going on as well. And so as we dove into the system, um, Steve worked his magic uh, with Measure Quick. And then we determined that the um, motor was set too high, so we set the fan speed lower. But then just to double check, we wanted to make sure that the uh, airflow that the system was moving uh, was correct. So we were thinking, based the way everything was running, it should have been moving about 1100 CFM. Well, we used this setup here, and we determined that after measuring all three returns in the house, even on the lowest fan setting, uh, we were moving about 1600 CFM. And then after diving a little more, it said, okay, something's up with the motor uh, in the air handler. And we determined that that motor was changed out with the wrong motor. So in order to have my system work correctly, I've got to change my motor out uh, to the correct size and uh, back from a PSC motor to an ECM motor that it's supposed to have. So um, by measuring total system airflow, along with the other diagnostics that we did, uh, we were able to determine that that was the source of the problem. Well, that does it for our duct tester to flow hood conversion video. If you have any questions, reach out to us at sales at retrotech.com. Thanks for watching.